Hi guys, this is the look we're doing today. It's another installment in my smoky eye series and it's smoky brown. Please stay tuned to see how I did the look. Eye crayon and this is by Absolute and it's the color eggplant. Any sort of a brown tone eye crayon or even like a base you can use. Paint pot, whatever you have that you use as a base. Uh, I usually apply it with like any sort of a flat brush. Take a little bit. We want to apply it only to the lid. You don't want to apply too much because then it'll, it'll just cause your eyeshadow to crease. And you don't want to take it higher than the crease, you want to keep it in a oval shape. You can use the brush back and forth. And I'm going to be using um, a combination of the, some different shadows. This is my 88 matte palette. And I'm going to start by using this second color down. That's this one here. I'm going to be applying that to the inner tear duct. And just under my brow bone. So the second color I'm going to be using on the lid is it's the second to last row that's a row with the browns it's the one two three it's the it's the third one up on that row and i'm just going to apply this on the lid itself not all the way in just maybe on the first quarter of the lid again not taking it up to the crease There's a little bit of shimmer to it, but that's okay. Um, next, I'm going to go in. This is actually um, in NYX color. It's their Pearl Mania, but I've pressed the pigment. Um, it's a really pretty sort of a gold brown, but I can't quite remember the name because I've long since got rid of the bottle, but it looks like this. I think it's Coco something. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply it. Along, just along the center itself of where like my eyeball is, the center of my eyeball, connecting it to that first goldish color that we've applied there. And this is a really pretty sparkly brown. Again, not taking it up higher than the crease. So it's sort of like a line this way and a line that way, but we're gonna blend it out of course. We wanna just blend back and forth so that we don't have any lines of demarcation where the shadows meet. And then lastly, we're going in with the, it's the same row of that first lid color. And we're going in with the second one up. That's this one right here. And we're going to be using that along the outer end of that eye. It's a little bit darker, so. Now this, you can actually start taking up into that crease just a little, not all the way in, we just want to go, again we're not creating a cat's eye, we're not winging it out, we just want to try and um, keep that oval shape, but we want to sort of round out the corner with the darker colors, and then using a stiff brush, I'm using my SS219, my pencil brush, I'm going in with that matte black in that same color. And I'm going to create an outer V. Drawing a line first. And then taking it up again, not all the way into the crease. We just want a really small outer V like that. And then sort of fill it in towards the lash line and bringing it into the lid, like feathering it onto the lid itself so that it fades into that brown, that dark brown that we've put there. I 
this is where we want to take a stiff blending brush um, I'm just using a no-name brand and just go around the edges of where we place that black to soften it a little to be a stiff brush or so you're not going to get the degradation in color that you need. Just blend along the edges and then what we're doing after is going in with my, with a softer fluffy brush. I'm using my SS224 and just blending out the colors on that lid ever so slightly and we're doing it from dark to light so we're blending inwards. Again, we don't want to take that dark color and don't want to blend it all the way into the crease so um, the last thing we're going to do we're just going to take um, this is a really nice dense brush you can use whatever you use for your highlight back into that first highlight color that's the second color it's this one here and I'm just going to go over underneath my brows and use that same um, color and bring it down around the edges of where that black is to soften it out just a little and that's gonna smoke it out even more just like that and then what we're gonna do is just go underneath the eyes um, on the lower lash line using the same gold color that we've used on the lid We're going back in with that NYX, the NYX brown, on the, the second third, blending it into the first color so that the colors gradient really nicely. And then um, lastly, we're going back in with the, the matte black, uh, the matte black along the edge of that, eye, uh, of that um, lash line. And you want to blend it, you don't want a harsh line there at all and blend it into the other browns that you've applied. Now we're not applying any um, liner to the top lid in this look. We are applying along the water line and along the tight, um, the tight line which is this line just on the inner part of your eyelid. But for the, to get that um, definition into the lashes we're going to use um, a slanted brush and I'm going to press that same black matte color along the lash line as close as I can to those roots to my lash roots um, and blend it out slightly as I'm going. It's not to add a lot of color but just a little definition there so I'm gonna do that now. Line the water line but use like a, just a little more extra and then kind of squish your eyes together really tightly and sometimes, um, most times it would distribute just enough under that lash um, under the tight line there, onto the tight line so that you don't have to be uncomfortable and pull back your lips. Okay, so lastly for this look that we're going to do, um, we are going to, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Okay, so lastly for the eyes, I'm going to apply just a little hint of um, like a pearl, a pearl sort of nude, like a skin colored um, shimmer and I'm going to do that just along the inner tear duct and just under the arch of my brow. And I'm using, this is just my, uh, my clean color, nine color palette and it's the very middle very middle light one here, the light skin tone. And that's it for the eyes. Um, for my cheeks, I have used um, Jordana's blush in rose silk along the apples of my cheeks. And then I blended along the jawline, um, along the the hollows of the cheeks, along my cheekbones, I've blended um, Sasha's Barely Dare which is a really nice um, sort of a pink with an orange tone to it and for the lips I've used um, the e.l.f. lip primer and plumper I've used the prime side applied it to my lips 
you can use just regular concealer if you don't have this and then what I did is went over my lip line using a burgundy pencil blended it out and then I've applied um, any sort of a nude flesh tone colored gloss this is um, Maybelline's wet shine liquid gloss in toasted